What is swell in bookbinding? Why is it important? And how is it managed in the bookbinding process? Swell is the extra thickness at the spine edge of a text block caused by the addition of sewing thread inside the folded sections or signatures. There's nothing more to it. Actually, now I think about it, there is. When doing restoration, you can also get swell from the extra thickness of the repair paper used to fix the spine folds of folios that have torn. Some book structures require little to no swell, such as modern Coptic sewn journals, or can tolerate a small amount of swell, such as square back case bindings, or they can require sufficient swell to allow rounding, such as a spring back ledger, or require a specific amount of swell to allow rounding and backing. Since swell is caused by the thread inside the sewn section, the easiest way to reduce swell is to use thinner thread. The other part of the equation is the thickness of paper in the sections, and swell can be reduced by using more paper in the sections through either more sheets of paper per section or thicker paper. To increase swell, you can do the opposite and use thicker thread or reduce the paper thickness in a section by using less sheets per section or thinner paper. Swell can also be reduced by forcing the paper to absorb some of the thickness of the thread. Paper comes in varying degrees of hardness, from very hard art paper through to soft cartridge papers. Most papers can have thread impressed into it to some degree. This can be achieved by the binder boning the spine fold of the sections as they're sewn to the text block, or by clamping the completed text block and hammering the spine against a knocking down iron or some other suitably hard surface. In very early books with wooden boards, the inside face of the boards would be shaped to accommodate the swell. The modern take on this, such as the Coptic sewn journal or sewn board binding, don't have shaped boards to fit the swell, but you still want the book to be flat and not wedge shaped. So it is important to have very little swell, and this is usually done by using thick sections. In the case of the Coptic Sewing Journal, there is a competing requirement of having a thicker thread so the exposed sewing is more aesthetically pleasing. To achieve the low swell with thick thread, it is not uncommon to have six or eight sheet sections using softer, heavier paper such as 120 GSM cartridge paper. With the sew and board binding, thin thread is usually the answer, something like 25-3 or 43 linen. Rounded and back books present their own challenge. I'll describe rounding and backing in detail in another video, but for it to work, the goal is usually about 30% swell. My rule of thumb is 25-3 linen thread for hard bond paper with four sheet sections, an 18-3 linen thread with softer 120 GSM paper with three sheet sections. It's my rough rule of thumb that I then adjust from these starting points according to what I'm using and my other design goals. Getting the correct amount of swell can be very tricky. Even the great Bernard Middleton told the story of researching the sewing for work on an important book, and when the sewing was finished, he wasn't happy with the swell, so he cut out the sewing and started again. If Mr. Middleton didn't get it right every time, there's a good chance we'll all judge it wrong occasionally too, and the best thing to do is to start again. I've been talking about the different sizes of linen thread, but what does 25-3 mean? The second number is the number of strands, or the ply, and the first number is called the Lee number. The Lee is the number of yards in a pound of linen divided by 300. I've written an article that explains all this in detail and is linked in the description below. Linen is used by bookbinders because of its strength, known longevity, neutrality and contact with paper, and is fairly easy to obtain. The middle of the road threads I use are 18.3 and 25.3 which are slightly thicker and thinner than half a millimetre. For four sheet sections of 80 GSM hard bond copy paper, 
I used 25.3 to sew a rounded and backed book. But for the same structure, I'll use the slightly thicker 18.3 for three sheet sections of 118 GSM mohawk paper. The extremes of thread I use are 18.5, which is about 0.7 millimeters, and 43, which is about 0.35 millimeters. Any thinner than 43, and the thread is likely to cut the paper, and thicker than 18.5 is getting to be a thin cord, and will start to produce sections that are unwieldily thick. If you want, you can use other types of thread, but it needs to have an appropriate diameter for the required swell, and not be too thick or too thin. It is common to double up cotton, but the doubled up thread can produce less swell as it usually sits side by side inside the section. But this is fine when little swell is desired or required. In some circumstances, it is not possible to control the swell by changing the sheets per section and very thin thread will cut through the paper. It is common to use a sewing technique called two on or two sheets on or two up sewing. In this type of sewing, in one pass of the thread from head to tail, two sections are added to the book. At the sewing stations between the kettle stitches, the thread crosses between the sections. This results in thread only being inside the sections for half the length of the book. The thickness of thread added by sewing at the spine is halved. The downside is that the sections are not as securely attached to the binding and every other kettle stitch is skipped. Usually the first and last three or four sections are sewn normally all along so there is good strength at the shoulders before swapping to two on sewing for the middle sections. The number of sections added in each traverse of the book can be more than two. If three are added, then it's three on or three sheets on sewing. For three on sewing, a minimum of four support stations are required. This compromise of the binding strength may seem completely unsatisfactory, but sometimes it's the only solution. This is sometimes used in restoration work where thin paper has been repaired at the spine fold, adding even more thickness to the spine, or if the original sewing was done this way. So, swell is the extra thickness in the spine of a text block caused by the sewing thread inside the sections. The amount of swell must match the design requirements of the book being bound. Swell can be adjusted up or down by changing the thread thickness or the thickness of the total paper in the section and this can be adjusted by using different thickness paper or more or less sheets per section. I hope this video has demystified swell for you. As always, I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button. If you would like to and are able to, you can support me through Patreon and the details are in the description below. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Until next time, Cheerio!